I will not permit any corruption anywhere near me, okay? I, don't, I won't have it. Yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you got to do. Oh, he's just walking. He's going to join his buddy. He tried to assault the garrison. That's pretty funny. They're attacking me? Well, if you're sure that's what you want to do. Oh, wait. I can intercept them. Let me tell you. I'm all for that. All they have is shitty archers and expendable infantry. These things are super weak. I'm going to go for it. This will be a pretty nice chance to see the uh, the beast path in action. Which is actually, I think, if you fight like underground, you will see a, a unique sort of arena that you fight in. Which is definitely cool. Alright, we don't have any um, magic stuff or whatever. So we're just going to sprinkle those guys in between our spearmen. Where they're nice and safe. Are you... Your sword infantry. So you can actually join there. That would be fine. We just sort of throw you in the middle of our infantry. And that's going to be just fine. So you're grouped. Uh, these are grouped. Cavalry is actually not as effective, I think, down here. Because as you can see, it's like all... It's a bit strange. These are like beast paths. I guess it's not underground. But it is similar to it. Um, oh, wait. This guy has poison attacks? All right, that's hella cool. All right. Let's just set him up over there. Archers behind him. I think the beasts might charge, and if they don't, then that's still fine, because we get to take our sweet time to uh, to do what we got to do. But I think they'll charge. They seem to be super overconfident. What's up, beast boy? Now, you're really not that big. This feels like a, a real-life location, but it was sort of... Made it ten times as large. It's like we're fighting miniature armies, which is very strange. Alright, can the archers get up here? That would be... No. Okay, that would be a little bit too sick, maybe. Yeah, we will have trouble moving through the woods. Because we, d we don't have as much speed and all that, so... Normal chariots are probably going to be absolute garbage in the uh, in the woods. Alright, let's speed this up a bit, because they're, they're rushing over here. But their armies are complete garbage. They're expendable. They got poor leadership. Their strength is very low. I mean, these guys straight up just kind of suck, so... I'm actually fine with that. Obviously, their leader is somewhat okay, but we can take him out. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, where's our special... You're the special archer. So this guy has slightly more range than the rest, so he should be the first to fire. Let's get out of uh, skirmish mode so they don't run away. When they get scared. Alright, here we go. And alright. We found their hidden troops, but as it turns out, that's really not going to work out in their favor. We're just going to charge them here. Alright, you shoot them. And let's see what you can do. Arrows should still arrive the way they are intended to. And then the Sepulchral Stalkers, I think, are hidden. Right? They are stalkers, after all. But, you know, whatever. Uh, let's send them over, over there. Over there. They got good armor. This is going to be a super easy battle. I can already tell. But I'm actually okay with that. I mean, we're losing at least a bit more than we were last time because we got a slightly more balanced um, battle going here. But it's still really not all that great. Alright, you go after them, I guess. We do need to chase after these archers, though. Go after them, stalkers. So we got some snakes now that we haven't really used much. But they are armored, they're anti-large, armor-piercing, and they can use vanguard deployment, which we didn't use, but... It is available. We just didn't use it. And it is kind of strange to have skeletons walking around in the sort of woods like this. It, it feels wrong. Somewhat, at least. Alright, so just, yeah. Let's go with that. Those guys are running, so we're gonna go after the ones that are not running. Whereas you guys are allowed to chase them. Oh, look at that. This is their leader. Okay, well, hit, hit that leader. Hit that guy. They're taking out some of my warriors, but that's absolutely okay, because warriors are... I mean, we've been over this. I've been saying this since the very beginning, but those are pretty garbage, and I honestly don't really care uh, what happens to them. There we go. Just follow them. 
Alright, listen, archers. I'm going to need you to set up over here. Where you are in a slightly better position to do stuff. You go after them. See, we can maybe grab this army from two sides. They're not going to see that coming, hopefully. Oh, these guys are still running. We are actually losing a decent amount now. I say decent amount, but really it's just about nothing. It's not very impressive. Their leader has given up. Which is usually, uh, you know, they'll, they'll tell you what's going on. Uh, they are anti-large, but at the end of the day, like, I, think, I feel like the Stalker is going to be so much stronger than these guys that it's really not going to matter. But they are slightly anti-Stalkers. They, they're not armor-piercing or anything. And it doesn't seem like they're actually getting through my armor, which is always nice to see. Alright, so just leave them be and just go after the, uh... The enemies that are still trying to, out, to, to outlive us. Let's get all of our... Their leader is gone, right? I certainly don't see the guy. Oh, there... Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Alright. So you follow him, and then these guys just... Go over there. Get the archers over here, maybe. This is starting to get a little bit annoying, because they're mostly just running and... Not doing much else. Which is, I guess, kind of their strength in the uh, in the beast path. Because cavalry will not be able to catch up to him down here. Yeah, just take him out. That's fine. Don't worry, little... Little skeleton boys. You're gonna be just fine. Alright, so there's no more enemies down here. Alright, so let's get, actually get our, our cavalry to go after something. Let's see how quick they actually are. I'm assuming they will be very, very slow. Go, stalkers. Where's the other stalker, anyway? All the way back here. Okay, go over there. That's where you're needed. So our speed should be drastically reduced if there's, like, trees in the way. Yeah, it seems a bit slower. It doesn't seem like 80% slower, though. I guess it's only if you, like, if you're really close to the tree or something? I'm not really sure how this works. I am certainly a little bit confused. Uh, the archers are about to get stuck, though, and that's what's going to be a problem for them. Sure, they can do hit-and-run tactics, but eventually... The success of those will... catch up with you, and you're going to get stuck. At the end of the, uh, of the map. And that's when we get you. Alright, they're being spit on by the stalkers. Broken, shattered. And it looks like we are just about done. I feel like the, uh... The desperation of these guys should be somewhat infectious. Alright, just drive them away, okay? Get out of here, man. Don't you even try to still stand there and fight me, okay? We're done. There goes the cavalry. This is slow. I don't think I like the beast paths too much. And we lost, like, we, we didn't even lose anything big or much. It's just annoying to fight a battle here. I don't like it very much. Okay, well, you're about to reach the end of the map, so... Let's see what you do then. You go after them. You go after them. Alright, you still have spears that you can use. I know that you spit everything you could. But now you can actually, uh... Oh, you can hit them where it hurts. They got speed on their side. They're gonna catch up. Let's see if they actually, like, knock them out of the way or anything. Like, as if they're cavalry. Oh, they do! Oh, that's so cool! Well, here we go. Here we get to see some beast man die. I mean, they certainly don't look strong. Yeah, we win. They're trying to run now, but the snakes should actually catch up as their speed is higher. There's some more snakes back there. Well, let's get, to, let's get a few more. Let's get a few more. At least a few more, you know. You guys hit them. Stop them from, from leaving. Oh, this guy's screwed. This guy's so screwed. And he died. Well, they certainly tried their best. But at the end of the day, you can't mess with the, uh, with the Tomb Kings. They lost pretty much everything. Okay, they did not. Most of them actually ran away. Alright, decisive victory. Oh, we actually did kill them all. That's good. Take their organs. We will eat them. For breakfast. Alright, so we, we took out one of their... Their faction is actually destroyed, so they're completely gone now. 
Uh, which is good news for me. Oh, you're gonna lay siege to that? That's actually pretty cool. Oh, he did it! He actually took that! We did kill a thousand enemies in battle, so there we go. Uh, next up, win the following battle. Okay, that's nearby. We can do that for sure. If we do that, we get our new weapon. I'm not sure what imbues means. But I think it's supposed to uh, blind enemies, or does it blind Cetra? I actually don't know, but we can do that later. For sure, we'll hit that up. Uh, Alright, so this guy did pretty well. He took out the Beastman, they are no longer here, and the corruption is starting to go down now, finally. Which is what I wanted to see. The Beastmen are super annoying. They weren't even hard to beat, just, you know, get out of here, you're annoying. Uh, I guess we'll go with something like Arrows of Asaf. And, like, we're done here now. Public order is nice and high. And it's actually going to go up more now that the corruption is going down. So we're all good. We are all good. Alright, we're going to go to the Pools of Despair. It looks like the uh, Rakoff Dynasty is super weak. They seem to be losing a ton of their battles. Which is, again, I mean, that's good for me, you know. I'm, I'm down with that. Oh, look how cheap this stuff is. Like, that's nuts. Why is it that... that Suitable climate. I don't even know. Uh, actually, I do know. It's because we got this, so construction cost is down. But it seems to be a lot more down than it should be. Closer to like 50%. Alright, we can unlock more Nekara Warriors and Tomb Guards and stuff, but we could also get more Ushapti, which... I actually love that idea, because again, I, I love Ushapti so much. Uh, we need to upgrade El Kalabad to Mastaba, so we will. And then as soon as it is, we're gonna dig up some, uh, some dye. Because basically we want to try and get every resource there is. Make a port over here. Alright, so we're no longer needed here. Actually, you need to heal up, so that's fine. We took Sudenberg, which is good. We're gonna take the Plain of Tuskers after this, I think. We don't even have to take out the, uh, the, the tree men. I, we might actually want to wait just make peace with them. They're they're helping me out. Okay, well they don't like me very much because I declare war. I mean that's fair enough, you know. All right, I guess we're just going to take them out then because they are, you know, they could pose at least some threat and they're like super weak now, so this would be an ideal moment to jump in. Uh, take them out. Colonize the Plain of Tuskers. Wow, it's still a ruin. And, uh... Alright. And if we do that, you know, that's gonna be pretty sweet. And then all we really gotta do is take the Black Tower of Arkin, take the, take the Black Pyramid, which is gonna be pretty tough. Take these two, and that's basically the Rakoff Dynasty gone, I think. They have something down here as well, but that's about it. They're just getting their asses kicked by all these random, like, rogue armies. All right, Pools of the Spare as well, by the way. Okay. The uh, thing with the Black Pyramid is that it has a huge garrison, so that could definitely be at least a bit of a problem. Let's see what the garrison actually is. It is Tomb Guards, Skeleton Spearmen. It's uh, three Tomb Guard, right? Tomb Guard, Tomb Guard, Tomb Guard Halberds. They got a Scorpion, Ushapti, some Archers. I can't see what's behind this logo thing. I wish I could see, though. And then, obviously, they have walls. So, I think that having at least two armies here is going to be the way to, uh... ...to go about it. So, we're gonna wait until... ...we probably get this guy to take... ...the Pool of Despair, then the Black Tower of Arkan... ...and then we, we push over here, we meet over there, and we take that out. I just think that's the way to do it. For now, I guess we're taking out the tree people. The last defenders... ...have convinced Slotlin to join them. So the last defenders are now a lot bigger. I mean, that's good for you, I guess. Oh, they're in March stance? Why are you going? You're being so weird, you know that? Um, alright, we've seen this before. Like, I don't really care about miscast chance. So I'm just gonna... I mean, we could sacrifice 40, um, but we don't use magic that much. I'm gonna go with that. I'm fine. Alright, choices are to either... ...colonize this right now... 
I mean, we could probably heal relatively quickly. This guy's already healed up and ready to go. Look at the public order. It's it's up. It's way up because of this beautiful event. I love it. All right, let's see. Alcalabad. We could make... Okay, actually, no, we don't want to make anything there yet. We could make a vineyard here that would give us a bunch of wine. Eh, I like that idea. I'm willing to, uh, to get my hands on some wine. These guys are weak, though, and they can't really heal. Tree kin. They're forest spirits. Able to shrug off most mundane attacks, causing magical damage in turn before melting into the forest from whence they came. They got a forest dragon. That could be an issue. That's actually kind of scary. I just think the dryads would be kind of weak. These guys are relatively strong, though. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's go treasure hunting before we do anything else. Deep within the ruins of a recently destroyed city, you send a scouting party to investigate a nearby tunnel entrance. While waiting for them to return, you suddenly find that your camp is completely surrounded by Skaven. What a surprise! They demand payment for your safe release. You can pay them, you can fight them, you can wait until your scouts return, or you can say that you work for the Horned Rats, which I think is sort of their god or something. Uh, we could try to bluff. Uh, what's that? They wounded Cetra? Are you kidding me right now? Well, let's get Rakosh in there for now. The more you talk, the less they seem to buy your story. Eventually, they tire of listening and attack you, and the ensuing struggle you escape with your life, but barely. So Cetra is wounded. Do you know how much I hate hearing that? I need Cetra in my life. Can we at least get him back now, though? He will be wounded for... Four more turns. Oh my god, what have I done? Alright. Well, at least, you know, we learned our lesson. The, uh... Bad stuff can definitely happen if you lie to the Skaven. Let's, uh, entomb. And heal up nice and quickly. And then we'll go after probably the Pools of the Spare, I guess, after. Alright, let's see. Again, I kind of want to build this up more. Stuff around Kemri. I want to get my damn Necropolis. It's going to be four more turns before we can get that, though. How much will it be? Not too much. We can afford that easy. Like, we don't really want to make anything in the capital before we get it to be a Necropolis because we want our, like, really high sort of unit uh, buildings in there. The Salt Plain. Numos. We could do something here, though. I feel like public order is definitely high enough, though. We could stimulate growth a bit, but they have growth enough. Like, we don't even need this thing anymore. We have a huge surplus in, in growth. Yeah, if we get a bit more money, we can get a tomb city here. I think that's the thing I'm going to do. Alright, so this guy... Like, we want to go after the Black Pyramid, but obviously not right now. I don't even understand how he even took that. Legit, how did you do this? Because that garrison is... is huge. It's so big. Perhaps we will never know. Uh, let's see... Right, you are in tomb. So for now, just stick around camera, I guess, and defend it. Because there's no army here that can leave. So we don't really have to worry about it. I guess. Okay, the, the Tower of Arkhan has a decent garrison, but... Does it have walls? I feel like it has walls. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what that city is all about. If it seems like we can take it, if it has no walls, then I'll, I'll probably just lay siege. Alright, hero not moved. Don't move. Don't want to do anything here. Don't want to move. I want to get my neck protect. Possibly. I definitely see the value of them now, because that way you don't have to sacrifice, like, half your army. If you feel like throwing your bones down in a city. If you know what I mean. Okay, what's going on, guy? An alliance. Ooh, eventually they might actually become a vassal. Question is, is that something I want? Apparently, I'm untrustworthy. 
which is kind of bad. He really likes me because I took out the beast man. And because I'm fighting the uh, the the tree guys. Uh look. I don't think I actually want alliance. Oh, this military access. Okay, actually I'll take that. Yeah, he's going to pay me a little bit. Okay, military access would be okay. Because then I can sort of walk through his territory and see what he's got going. Um, strength and armor for infantry or for cavalry? Charge bonus and speed. I think I'll just take infantry still. I think that's a good one. Uh, let's go Let's go check this out. Let's see what he's got. And then soon, obviously, we're going to declare war. Alright, the Black Tower. Oh, he's got two armies over here. Oh my god. Okay, so this is his main base of operations then, apparently. He's got a bunch of Tomb Guard. But not much else. I think this is going to be the point where we need to go to strike and just take him out in one swift move. He's got one Tomb Guard. The other army has... Okay, Chariot. It doesn't seem too strong. It seems decently strong, but not, like, crazy or anything. We're going to meet up. All of our armies will meet up near the Black Tower of Arkin. And we are going to burn it down to the ground. I still want to take care of the uh, the forest people, though, because they're starting to heal. They have a forest dragon, which is very scary. It's, it's armor-piercing. I don't know how strong that is. Is that able to, like, completely destroy my army? I don't know. I honestly have no clue. I guess we're going to find out. Right, so here we go. We're going to make you into a tomb city, which is going to be great. And then we can upgrade some of these smaller settlements, I guess. Like Vulture Mountain. We could turn that into a mausoleum. Don't do anything. Okay, we're good. I think if we wipe out both of his armies at the Black Pyramid of Arkin, at that point he's going to be left with not much to really do, and we can sort of wipe out the rest of his stuff. What the hell does this guy want? You declare war on me. Are you sure that's what you want to do? That's interesting. He might actually be able to do some damage. I won't lie. But we will wipe him off of the face of the earth. We are the, like the number one strongest guy out here right now. We have to sacrifice either workers or warriors. I'm going to go with workers. Because we don't want our casualties to replenish too slowly. Like, that's going to be bad. Zandri. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a garrison. I will not we will probably soul. lose, though. Looks like we need to get a some armies on the scene. So just walk normally. Let's march over there. Go, go, go. Let's make sure they realize that they can't get away with uh, declaring war on me. This is like a desperate attempt. Like, he knows. He's got this little island, and that's about it. So he might take Zandri. After that, though, he's going to be stuck, and we wipe him out, and we're going to be okay. Like, I wanted that island anyway, because we need this to uh, complete our province of uh, Coast of Araby. So it's actually okay that he declared war on me. I probably should have done that a while ago anyway. Do we want to take out the tree people? I'm thinking yes, but I'm a little bit worried though. This general is completely inexperienced. Then again, theirs isn't that much better. Let's walk up to them. Let's see how they react. If they declare, if they attack me, then we'll know. Uh, let's see. We don't need this anymore. And I really don't love carrying that much that I want to have it. So we're just going to get rid of that thing. We're going to turn this into a tomb city as well. Galbaraz. And we'll see how that goes. You guys just stay put. Yeah, we got three armies coming in over there. So he'll probably take Zandri, I would assume. Our garrison is quite weak, and I honestly did not ever expect an attack from this little guy. So I got to hand it to him. That's, like, that's impressive. Okay, you surprised me. Oh yeah, there's a third army. That could be bad, because then he could maybe colonize the uh, that plane thing again. Oh, what? Where are you going? I thought he would take this. He's going to chill in the swamp. He's actually chilling in the swamp. He's taking damage from attrition now. 
Oh, how did they... Oh, they got like a whole bunch of new units. And they almost died. They got destroyed. Oh, they actually won though. But it looks like they just sort of looted the city or something. They are going only for the for those guys, which is odd. All right, look, we're gonna we're gonna go in hot pursuit here. Uh, you, right? Go to Zandri, make sure it's safe. And then this guy is going to. I mean, they're weak. You know, they got a small army. We only need we only really need one army to take care of them. The salt plane actually doesn't have a, a huge. Um, garrison either, which is kind of bad. Alright, let's build that for now. This guy's actually going straight for their capital. Because they can't stop me and I can just take Phyrus, which should have... You know, it's going to have a, a decent garrison because it's its only city. Uh, but there's not... Oh, he's got a second army there. What is this guy up to, man? I must keep my holy vow. No! It's... This is so weird. Okay. I'm seeing so much new stuff. All right, well, we could actually take this guy out, but I don't think I want to right now. I really don't. Like, I think we should just let him do his thing. He's not close to Sudenberg, so it's not like he's going to burn my stuff down to the ground. And he's lost a ton of units. I think he's just going straight for the uh, Rakoff dynasty. I'm going to ignore him. Th I mean, this might come back to bite me in the ass later. But I just want to see what he's uh, going to do here. Still need to upgrade you. One more turn and we can actually do this though. Which is going to be so awesome. Alright. It's always the little dudes that surprise you, isn't it? An alliance? Yeah, military alliance is going to have to be a no because I have to take them out. I suppose we could use them and, like, have them be our vassal. So for now, I'm going to reject them. I know now how weak they are. Like, they've really been messing up a lot of their stuff. You're going for the salt plane? Man, you little piece of crap. Okay. We are definitely in a pretty bad position, but what, what can we do? We're going to try to do as much damage as we can. Uh, they might take the salt plane, or they might ransack it a little bit. Wait, are these peasants or something? They don't look very intimidating. I did not expect to be fighting normal, just human dudes out in the desert like this. This is very interesting stuff. Yeah, if these guys are like normal peasants, then we can sort of push through them. Maybe, if we're lucky. We do have some Neokara warriors, we have the Ushapti, we have the cavalry to fall back on. Uh, the garrison could have been worse. It's not great, but it could have been worse. We might be able to somehow mir miraculously pull out a win. Especially since if we start lo losing units, we can summon an extra Ushapti. Which is almost going to be guaranteed to take down the artillery. Alright, so those are men-at-arms. They have more armor than my warriors, but less melee defense. Wait, no, we have more armor, but we have less leadership, less speed, and melee defense, but everything else is higher. What about the normal guys? The Spearmen at Arms. Kind of the same. They got poor leadership. So tell me about this trebuchet. Okay, we can actually just do Vanguard deployment with our guys here and see if we can maybe... Oh, wait, this isn't Vanguard, is it? Oh, we can't do Vanguard deployment. Okay, I was I was completely wrong, as it turns out. Would have been helpful, though, if we could have. Alright, look, archers. I'm going to need you to stand over here. I mean, I think that since they have the artillery, we need to be on the offensive, though. So what we'll do is we'll set up our Nekara warriors. Behind them, the archers. You shopped you to the side here, if that's... Yeah, that'll work for me. And then the, uh, the the horsemen will go over here, and we'll, we'll try to see if we can maybe uh, surprise them a bit. So we need to take down the artillery as much as we can. Do that. You guys pull in from the side here. 
We need to lose 300 and something men. We can do that. If we start losing, then we should be able to... Uh, oh god, look at the damage the artillery is doing. That's insane. They're all anti-large, which I am not very happy about. So let's see if we can maybe distract them or something. Don't do what I just said you should do. That's That was a horrible idea. Why are you being so slow? Go behind. Alright. Go over there. Engage, engage, engage. Fire. Archers. Get the archers. We are sacrificing our infantry here to get a shot at their archers. Go. Go, go, go. Archers are running. Artillery. Make sure they run. That's what we want. Yeah, those infantry are going to be super dead in a little bit. But it is going to be okay. The Ushapti should be... Oh, they're attacking the trebuchets now. Which should be super vulnerable to it. So we are going to lose, obviously, our infantry. Right? We're not taking... Well, they don't seem to be dying as quickly as I thought they would. The archers are already, like, routed. Those aren't going to be doing much anymore. And there goes their... Uh, their artillery. Alright, Ushapti. I have... I literally don't care about... Uh, any of these units because they're all garrisoned. So every single one of them can die and it's going to be fine for me. Shop to help out your boys. They're losing, actually. How are they... Okay, this guy is winning, so we're going to beat him up. He's not anti-large either, so actually that's pretty good. But that artillery is gone now. Are we actually going to win with this miserable little garrison? That would be so exciting. He is winning. He's in even combat now. The others are losing. But as soon as this kicks in, we're going to start healing, which will be uh, pretty great. Get the get those guys. The artillery learned their lesson. It looks like we destroyed their... No, the catapults are still there, but they're going to, you know... I think they gave up on those. I just want to make sure these guys get the message. And then... Okay, so these are, like, shattered now. So that means that they're going to be gone. These guys are routing, but not shattered. We need them shattered, I think. These guys are shattered. Okay, they're shattered. Go, go, go back. Get back to it. Uh, archers. Fire over there. We are going to lose our uh, cavalry, I would assume. But we can just try. We're about to... The, the, the heels are about to kick in. And if we're lucky, it will actually kick in for the infantry, because then we... Those stay alive. The Ushapti is destroying this guy. But we need to take out their leader, which is sort of their source of uh, power. Yeah, they got pretty good anti-infantry or cavalry, uh, but it's not it's not enough. Apparently, men at arms are just really bad. I thought they were good. They looked cool. Turns out they were pretty garbage. So I think at this point it's almost official that we win. Okay, those guys are gone. Go hit them, and they should just about do the trick. Hit their leader though, Shopti, please. That's what I really want. Pierce his armor. Okay, and we actually we actually win. We actually won this battle. Although I don't understand how. Alright, so the Ushapti has considerable speed, so they'll keep up with their leader. Other guys try to kill as much as we can over here. How did this happen? How are they this horrible? I had a terrible small little garrison. We did we lost nothing. We barely got the first heal to kick in. We're actually about to kill their general. Who seems to be confused by the concept of retreat because he keeps running in different directions. Well, he's wounded. Close victory my ass. That was insane. Look how little we lost compared to what they lost. <laughs> yeah, that cavalry was a lifesaver though. Look at the damage he did. I'm guessing all the little upgrades that we got over time make this, you know... Way easier. Like, I don't need to replenish the garrison. We'll just take their their organs for ourselves. That was shameful. That was super sad. He's probably just gonna go home. What are you doing? Okay, non-aggression pact is cancelled. Whatever. Don't really care. I do not feel particularly intimidated. Cetra is uh, ready for duty now, though. Can we... We actually can't recruit Cetra right now. We need to get rid of a lord, I guess, in the... 
That's kind of dumb. All right. Uh, let's have you go after him, I guess. You stay near Zandri, even though that has the same garrison, so there's literally no way for them to take that as well. Let's go towards them, then. Let's go to on the offensive. Yeah, Fires is a pretty big garrison, but it's a lot of men-at-arms and peasants and stuff. They have one paladin, which should be a bit of an issue, but we have a ton of artillery. So I think we should be okay, actually. Considering what we just witnessed. It turns out men-at-arms and all that stuff is just really bad. That's their paladin. They have two. Uh, they do have some trebuchets and stuff. Alright, here's what we'll do. We're just going to lay siege. And then if they want to leave their walls, that's up to them. You know, because if they do, then we obviously have a big advantage. If they don't, then we just wait them out. Either way, we win. Okay, attack them if you can. You might want to get out of there. Okay, don't get don't get attritioned. All right, that was insane. That was a, that battle was nuts. All right, you're good. You're good. Here we go, the necropolis, baby. Finally, this will remove a bunch of taint. It will give us a lot more money. It will give us a huge garrison, including two necro sphinxes. This city is going to be a for damn fortress by the time we, we actually make this thing. That's going to be so awesome. All right. Uh, there we go. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to leave it here for now. In the next part, like, we're still okay with these guys, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, in the next part, we'll focus on taking out Firus then, because they were, you know, decided to get in my way. After that, the Rakoff Dynasty, and then um, probably these guys get our hands on the next Book of Nagash, uh, because we really need to. We might actually grab the book before we go after these guys. Because that will allow me to have a fifth army, uh, which is obviously going to be really good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later.